What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. I am pretty sure everyone's already heard. The news is already out. We got that OCG ban list. I have not gone over the full ban list yet, so this is going to be a little bit more of like a live reaction. I'm going to give... Uh, I've, obviously, this is not really going to affect us directly, but some of, the, some of these hits... Either like either they might come on the next list or maybe they'll come on the list after we don't know. But there's already something I see here that I am not liking that I think may or may not be implied. So let's go ahead and just get him just to get into it, guys. All right, so we got banned right here from three to zero. Kit Kalos and Statue Barrier of the Storm Winds or Barrier Statue of the Storm Winds. This just makes complete sense, like. Like there's like um I like I'm not fully versed in OCG meta like I, I usually just follow kind of like trends and like 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 cards but I like you know I, I'm not over, I'm not over here like oh the percentage of this and this and that so but I I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and call it this just makes sense for us too like Fl Fluanderies like like the reason why Tri Brigade was so good it wasn't really because of the hardcore comboing like yeah that was a big issue but it was the fact that you could just pull the storm winds from the deck and just drop it right there on the field that's that's the bigger issue the whole the bigger issue is dropping storm winds to like even dropping any kind of barrier statue from the deck could just like could really wreck like this, like depending on the deck depending on the format this thing could just shut stuff down so this being banned just completely makes sense because it's like uh, Ko uh, konami has a bad habit of hitting the things around the problem the problem is Stormwinds. It wasn't. It wasn't some morg. It isn't the Raid Raptor Falcon. What it isn't. What's enabling it? Like it, it isn't. Like like it isn't flu. It isn't that flu is so good. It's like no. It's the fact that flu could freaking either search it or flu could just get it out. Like, they could search it and they could get it out as part of their combo. So this right here makes sense for them and it makes sense for us. Kit Kalos, uh, same thing. Com makes complete sense, but. Yeah, this would just kill the deck. It would just completely kill the deck. Okay, I don't want to say completely, but this right here would just hurt consistency so bad. Like, the the main, like, you usually only need one or first. You know, there's, I guess, sometimes you'd, in the OCG, they're running at two. I see a couple lists with it, but in all honesty, like, this just complete makes sense. If you want to kill the deck, you really need to, like, kill it, kill it, kill it. Like, and, and like, you, you can't sit and say, oh, well, we'll give them one. No, you have to take out what's giving them all like most of that fuel what's really starting them up and that's the freaking kit colors so these can even make sense all right so these are all the cards that are limited to one so i see ain't this is all this is something i did learn learn about like i i'm learning about some of these cards for the first most of these cards for the first time ancient fairy dragon is something that i was told about and it said that i got an errata so like the i, I got I, I i pulled the errata up and for a moment I, I, I felt dumb i was like there's no errata what's going on here no it's I went back and pulled the old version of it out, and yeah, so they pretty much just made it like a hard once per turn. Like, all the effects are hard once per turns, which, honestly, I, this is actually <laughs> something that I completely forgot. I mean, like, I used to run this, like, spiral format. Uh, there is, uh, like, like um, I think there was even, like, a dragon deck that, that I ran this in one time. So, I yeah, like, this is just, it was not once per turn. Like, if you could cycle through this... You could you could get some real advantage. You also have that uh the the, the new link four the one that like is able to like blink everything off the field and bring it all back. You could like reset the effect with it. So yeah, like like if they're gonna bring it back and then have that thing on also there, that's it. Kind of just makes sense. Then you got a Sh Shailene. Uh, yep, just uh, get rid of that. No, I mean not get rid of that, but limit this to one. This is part of a uh, part of getting rid of the power. It's like the the deck is so strong that it's gonna need multiple hits. You you, you can't just sit there and say okay, this is gonna solve it. No, the, if you don't get rid of stuff like this, they're still gonna fusion on your opponent's turn, especially if you leave the Shizu stuff. So let's see if they hit any of Shizu. But uh, yeah, I, I, this is this is like this is hardcore right here. Like I I see that right there. I see very much. For for us, I see them hitting maybe a Shizu more, even though it's newer. But yeah, like I, I, this right here, I can see Patel minus to one. All right, awesome. Okay, oh, there's a list. There's a list. Oh my God, that is long. That is long. Okay, so you got the Ancient Fairy Dragon. It was banned. Now it's this is now it's going to one. Fenrir. Oh man, Fenrir. Okay, they're they're bringing Fenrir down. They're these. They're they're afraid of Fenrir like that. Castor Fenrir. Okay. And Unicorn, they are, they are saying no to Cash Tira. This is actually a bad, oh, okay, not going to say a bad sign, but this could be a sign to come to where Cash Tira could be some hard-hitting stuff in our meta. Like, you, you never you never know. Sprite over there was just super dominant, tier 0 status, and over here they were, like, they were, uh, they were 
probably only, they were only tier one because so many people were freaking playing it from the hype, and they did get one YCS win, but yeah, like it, it there it was no way like the just flat 100% best deck. Like it very much took a lot of like spots in the top, but it took a while for it to win. It took a very good player to win on our side. So uh, I I don't want to sit there and say oh it's the next zodiac. This is it. This is no no no, but. This, this could be a sign right here that if they had to bring both Fenrir and Unicorn to one to, to calm this down, well, it also could be because Fenrir is basically going to become Pankratops to where so many people are going to be running it at three to where they have no choice but to limit it to one because, like, hey, everyone, if you're going to just be running three copies and everyone's going to run three copies, it's really going to hurt the deck construction and deck creativity because there's no one who's not going to run the, run the card. Although, a card like Pankertops is very much necessary, especially in this kind of meta, but that's in here or there, so. Yeah, I, I, I see that. Prime Planet. Oh, pure, okay, okay, yeah, I, I was thinking this was a different card. Okay, so this is just more, uh, yeah, it's more the Kestira stuff. Really bringing down that, that, that Kestira consistency, or the power, like, like, like this is all consistency and power. Blackwing Steam, the cloak, was bad, brought to one. I think we have it at one, two now, so not that big of a deal. They're like, alright, screw it, let's bring it back. Change of heart. We just got this one too, so yeah, that's that's uh that's awesome. They're, they're, they're bringing it back. I really do like change of heart in the in the in the meta right now. Like I I, I thought it was gonna be way more heavy hitting. I, I thought we were gonna have issues. I thought it wasn't. I thought I'm like oh my god, this is not gonna work. This is freaking broken. Snatch deal on crack, but no, it's uh no, it's 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 not. It's it's nothing like that. So I I, I thought this was gonna be some type of like. It's snatch deal, but you don't have to pay. You don't have to give life points, and you're not and, and you're not like you know susceptible to like two forms of negation with like regular negation and like a, a freaking MST or something. But the, yeah, that, I guess I guess bestial magnumut to one just makes sense. That just makes sense. Like the card is very good. I. I, I, this is another case of if, um, we're, we're basically just going to run BIS deals and everything. I'm, I, I'm not going to beat around the bush right here. I'm, I'm over here. There is two, there is three different decks that I am trying, right? There is, there's a, a, a Tri Brigade deck I'm trying. There's an OT deck, uh, OTK deck I'm working on. And another Beast Warrior deck that I'm kind of trying to get together. And I'm telling you, every single one of them run BIS deals. There is no, I, there is like no way I could see myself building decks without these cards like just it it, it it even it isn't even purely just because oh there's a lot of darks and lights in the meta no it's because you're you you have to run darks and lights in almost every single deck like there's very few decks that don't have uh the, the ability to summon some kind of dark and light whether it's in a combo or it's a hand trap or it's or it's part of something like it like you, you got like flanderies maybe Madolce, you know, but they, they they also run like the shifter. So like you know if if they're you know so if they drop shifter and they're not able to like shuffle the monster back with one of their effects, you, you could you know you have opportunity. So it's like there, there's very little decks that like just kind of completely have no lights or darks. So this is also another card that's probably hurting, I guess, hurting the deck creativity or deck construction where people are just like, well, I already know what six. Like six, seven, eight, nine of my slots are. Let me just throw in these things and then you know call it a day. So yeah, I, I, I see that. Like I see a lot of people just going. I'm gonna throw in like you know three of these. I'm gonna throw three of the uh, two Druus Worm and then maybe two or three of the Lubalion or maybe one Lubalion depending on how it is. And then they just throw in like three of these and you know maybe one if they're not probably not. I would say just three of these and then three of these and then any other combination of the other Bistils that you want. And you're literally taking out like what is it was that six, nine yeah like that is about what's that nine almost ten twelve cards it's like pretty much twenty five percent of your deck almost just completely covered by these cards so I I understand why Konami maybe wants to get rid of them because depending on the size of, of the package of Bistil if you add in three three of the uh, Kastira you're pretty much that's that's pretty much twenty five percent of your deck accounted for so uh, I I guess I I guess I see why they're also very strong that's that that's also <laughs> that's also it all right. So, so Sharon, says Shailene right there, but uh, Sheeran, this one uh, to one, Ryan Hart to one, and Patel Myas, and Branded Fusion to one. Okay, so uh, these uh, so these ones right here, the tier elements, that the, this is they're basically getting the Dragon Ruler treatment to where we need 
to make sure people are going to run the next set of decks. We do not want to have a situation where we have to hit them three, four, you know, I had hit them three times, basically. It's like, I think it was actually four times. If I remember correctly, it was first they got rid of all the babies, and then people still played them, you know, like, at, at pretty much like at three in their own kind of combo deck. Then they kind of hit them all, then like they hit everything... Then they hit. Then I think they hit everything around it again, and then the fourth time is when they is no no no. They brought them all to one. That's what it was. They had the baby. They got rid of the babies, and then and then on the and then the next one. Then the next one they got rid of all the stuff around it. Then the third one they put everything to one, and then they finally, on the fourth one is when they finally got rid of everything and just like nope, screw this, no more freaking dragon rollers. Uh, yeah, I should probably actually look at uh, move the history of the of the cycle of how they had to kill the dragon rollers. That'd be a cool little video to do. But yeah, so they, they're pretty much getting Dragon Lord treatment, but all in, but I, I want to say all one shot, they probably had a, some other hits, but they're just hitting a whole bunch of things saying, screw this, let's just hit all this stuff and we'll make it a deck where you have to get, you have to get really good mills to do the combo still. And that's, that's actually gonna, that would probably, especially in a meta where you have like, a, where you have like Shifter and then you have, you know, like, like Deep Fissure. Like the reason why people still play this deck, even though those cards are still out, is because even if you have those cards the the percentage of time to where you're going to be able to just win outright is is it, 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 it isn't as high as you think it like you, you don't always just win just because you dropped a shifter just because you make sure that things banish like if they're like you know like if, if they either survive the shifter or they have an out you know it's they're they're, they're pretty much going to still dominate so that's the that's like the main reason why they still play is because it is so good that even though there's all these other counters they could either wait it out or they could just somehow find a way to play through it, or maybe they just run counters in their own deck to stop it. So this is just them shooting it, shooting everything, just one shot, saying screw this, boom, 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 and yeah, just have just uh, go with that. But tell them Myas, they're probably they're doing what we did over here and just bringing it back. I guess we'll see how it works. Branded Fusion, this one right here to one would very much hurt the branded deck. Like the branded deck right now is it's 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 not like. It's not bad. It's it's very good rogues, very, very good rogue strategy. Maybe like fringe tier one contender, depending on who uses it. Cause like it, like it, there's a lot of people that have the issue with that mirror jade. Like M mirror jade's a hard card to out, and even if you do out it, like you have to you know you have to have a really good follow up. Like even with me, like I I play play with it with flu. I usually don't out the mirror jade till I know I could set till I know I have like a bird in my hand and I have the freaking um field spell or I have something a normal summon like even with just a field spell I don't feel comfortable like I want dreaming town and I and I want the field spell so that way I could just ha you know have those two options to try to come back because getting hit with, with that mirror jade just like really hurts and like yeah so Brandon fusion to one would really hurt, uh, hurt that consistency of that deck and uh but they, 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 do, they do still have Brandon in red so like they, they still have plays and still have everything but I, I, I could see this happening. I could see them doing this on the on the next list, just bringing it right straight to one, being the only hit to branded. But we'll see. This is OCG. This is not, this is not for us. All right, semi limited stuff that they're bringing to two over there. We got these three right here: Launcher, uh, Galatea, and Light Stage. Okay, so here we go. So we got we got Galatea was at one to bring it to two. Swap Frog was at one. Now to bring it to two. Kagari from one to two. Infernity Launcher. This is this is pretty cool. It was at one, now they're bringing it to two. That'd be interesting over here. Rageki was at three, now they're bringing it to two. I I understand. I understand. I I'm working I'm working on a deck right now, and I'm actually hoping Konami leaves all those cards alone. Leave it all alone, and we'll just just leave it alone. Don't don't everyone don't look shh, don't look at this guys. Don't look at that. Foolish burial of goods was at three to two. Makes sense. Foolish burial of goods on and off becomes really 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 good. Like there, there's times where where people are scrambling to get their rare copies, and other times people just ignore it. But I, I've always liked Fool's Burial Goods. Like it has, it, it, it has, it's, it has a lot of good uses. Right arm is here. They're hitting that adventure. It was at, oh no, 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 it was at one. Now it's at two. They're bringing it up. So you know they're they're starting to, uh, I guess, uh, alleviate some of their adventure package. Which, I mean, it makes sense. Adventure isn't doing as good as it was, but at the same time, it's yeah, it's adventure. You get hit with that. Actually, I think also they don't have Griffin Rider, so this is like. This is like you know easier to deal with. Trickstar Light Stage was at one, now at two. Uh, yeah, they're just they're, they're just bringing pilling some stuff off, seeing how it goes. They 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 like to use the uh, OCG does use their um semi limited more than we do, so they, they like to experiment with you know cards being at two. So but uh, I'm uh, when when it comes to the list, I, I'm I'm not really I don't have like a preference. I'm not like oh you should 
only, you know, everything should this and only do that. Like, I, I like, I, certain cards I can understand being at two, like Regeki, because, like, I understand you want to have, you want to have the ability to, like, consistently, consistently board wipe, but you also don't want to just have these completely powerful cards just out there freely. But at the same time, if you want to release really, really, really good decks, like, like you know like konami does then you 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 kind of have to bite the bullet it's like you have to sit there and say okay we need x amount of good cards to deal with boards but we also need to release really good decks that will that will justify you playing those decks even though those cards are there and that's how we get stuff like true elements and sprites so yeah like i said so sometimes sometimes the things we like i guess i gotta do a video but i don't know how to fully articulate this video but some like i i, I talked to a lot of people about this that Sometimes the things that we complain about as like a community or as players it is like are the thing are the are the things that that we crave and love about the game. Like you know, like we sit there and say we don't like we don't like decks like this, we don't like decks like that. But then we will turn around and play decks like that, and we will do it with a smile on our face. But we'll be like, oh, but we don't like this deck because it does it better than that deck. And it's like, well, that that's 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 how Konami works here. It's like, oh, well, we don't like this card. It's too good. And it's like, okay, well, then play this this deck, you know. And then, it yeah, it, that's just that's just how how the game goes. That just that's kind of how the game is. All right. So here we go. Unlimited. These are cards that were uh, one or two and then brought back to three. We got ABC Buster Dragon was at two. Now it's at three. Phantom Knights of Torn Scales was at two. Now it's at three. Double Iris Magician at three. Scarlet Sanguine to three. And Water Enchantress Temple. Water Enchantress of the Temple up to three. So yeah, they're, they're bringing back some of their um, adventure stuff, which I guess makes sense. It's, they're probably just bringing it back so they could use them for like link plays, because you know, I, like I said, I think Griffin Rider was either banned or limited to one. If it's limited to one, then then yeah, they're just bringing back their little uh, their adventure line. But um, yeah, that's actually uh, pretty uh, pretty pretty cool actually. This is a really big list. Like I, I did not expect them to drop such a big list, but this is uh this is something right here um the, the video's gone on pretty long but i just kind of want to say a couple things um some of these cards right here like like uh, like this one we're not really going to count that we're not going to count but like you know double irish magician also i think we got that back too so yeah th these are just them probably bringing cards that, that we have to three and they notice that okay like we'll see what they could do over here because we gotta understand the meta is a little bit different they they have different cards available at different times like you know they, they're a little bit high like you know they're more advanced than us when it comes to sets and everything so they're they there's a little bit different so that's nothing to speak on there i i would love to see some more uh you know some uh i don't know some orcist action even though i guess it'd be you know degenerate but i guess like just the just like the monsters you know bring back some of the monsters like maybe not bring back nightmare because that's actually kind of that you know that the, those are some long degenerate plays uh, swap frog, yeah, they're just you know like they for us they hit the rodent toad and so like that's really not affecting us. Uh, this one right here, Inferni launcher and Rageki, these are two cards that would be in, that would be kind of the, the interesting. I, I gotta I gotta check Inferni launcher. I I have this weird thought of it being unlimited for us, but yeah, let me let, let me check R Rageki though. This is something I could see them bringing over to our side. They could be like, oh yeah, I'll put Rageki to two. That's all. It's awesome. Let's put that Rageki to two. This right here, all these these hits, I, I I could see this coming to our list. I could see them transferring Brand of Fusion to our list. Uh, let's see where we at. Um, these maybe not maybe not yet, cause well we we well actually no well it, it depends it depends when we get the next list. If we get the next list like six months from now, then okay I could see the Ancient Fairy Dragon. I could see this on on there. I could see. Mm, Ooh, maybe not the maybe not the bis deals, but you know maybe kind of bringing some of this stuff to one. Maybe maybe they might leave kid like you might leave. Maybe they might uh, put kid Kalos to one and not ban it. But I could definitely see them banning. This is probably going to come to our list. So if you're running flu or if you're running anything that runs this, let you know right now this is probably going to be on our list. All right, that's going to be it, guys. It went on for a while, but that that's the OCG list. This is not this is not the TCG. This is an OCG list. So I guess uh, like I said, if you didn't need to pick up on that, although, although I probably said it a million times. So, yeah, that, that, that's actually going to be it, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Guys, another one real quick, and I'll see you in the next one.